What's up, people? This is Silver Leafy on 9055 back on the channel Evolutionary EVs. We're back again with another deck profile. So it's not a new one. I'm gonna try and get some new deck profiles out soon. I'm gonna try out to do Suicune uh, next. I tested it out online as you guys probably watched. It's a pretty decent deck. Um, it has some pretty good support at the moment. So I want to try out some other decks outside the EV Evolutions. Even though we already know when that flare when that Flareon comes in, that we're gonna be bringing that heat. So without further ado, um. This is pretty much my updated version after Lost Thunder, so hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, we're gonna start off with, of course, number row Uno, Umbreon GX. Pretty standard. Uh, does 30 damage with a strafe, and you can switch. And you got Shadow Bolt for 90, doing 30 to the bench. And then, of course, you got Dark Call, which in this format right now is pretty crucial. Uh, discard two energies, doesn't matter which. And then, um. You go to the discard. Uh, preferably, we want to discard special energies, considering the fact that um, they can't bring them back unless they're playing decks like Guard of War or like the CGI, which even if they are playing decks like that, it's kind of a waste unless it's early game um, to do so. So you want to wait until like maybe mid game or around uh, end game to discard special energy. Or if you have enhanced samurais, do that as well. Make them waste their resources. So they do that. So. Uh, well, for the dude, we're playing also for EV. Got the ones from the McDonald's promo. I'm so glad they did the McDonald's promo it's because thanks a lot to the McDonald's promo. So if you guys didn't know this, this actually keeps um the evolutionary EV, the energy evolutionary, ev I can't talk right now. Energy evolution EV in the standard format for at least probably another year because of the fact that it has its own set. It's not a alternate art, so. It's going to stick around if Sun and Moon and Guardians Rising gets rotated, which is nice because we got the new EV Evolutions coming out. We got Flareon, we got Jolteon. Not excited for Vaporeon. I still want to collect those ones though. Um, yeah, but without further ado, uh, let's move on to our next Pokemon. It's, of course, in every deck, if you're going to be playing competitive, it's going to be Sword Arc. Let's be real here. We already know what that does, but uh, also playing three Hoopas. One Lele. Now, Lele, only reason I'm playing that currently is because of Professor Allen's Lecture. When they came out with that card, this pretty much made this deck a lot more faster. Um, you're able to get your Eevees and your Zoras out fast. Um, also, if your Hoopers get in your hand, they get those out. You can pretty much get a full bitch set up really fast with that card now. Um, so that's the reason I'm playing the one Lele art in this deck. And also because I'm actually able to get my hands on Lele's thanks a lot to that Island Guardians box that they came out with. Now, I normally, of course, like I say in most of my videos, don't like playing Lele's because if they get stuck on your uh, active sometimes, or if they get stuck in the prizes, then you're kind of screwed if you're relying off of that. But it's always a useful card, and I already acknowledge that. So I'm not saying the card's bad. I just don't like using a lot of copies of it unless I really need to, or if it's really crucial to the deck, which in this deck is pretty crucial first turn. But um, I'll think about playing two if I need to, but with the current space that I have at the moment, I think playing one is pretty nice. And dandy, but that's pretty much it for our Pokemon. Um, pretty self-explanatory. If you guys have been a long-time viewers on this channel, uh, you already know my Umbreon deck is probably one of my favorites to play besides Leafeon. So, um, Leafeon GX deck is also gonna be coming in soon. So, stay tuned for that. I'm planning on playing two versions. You're gonna see one of the versions um, after this video. It's gonna be the standard version I've always been playing, and I want to test out a healing version. Thanks a lot to that new stadium that came out of uh, the Prism Star Life Force. So, I want to try that out as well. But that's pretty much it for our Pokemon. And now we have our supporters here. So, let me get those out. Right down. Okay. So, our supporters that we're playing, we're playing at 4 Line Cynthia. Of course, our main draw support. Uh, 3 Line of Guzma, basically our Lysandre. Uh, 2 Lily. 2 Press Adams Lecture. 2 Copycat. And... One ace to roll and a Kukui for extra damage. Our items, of course, are going to be, of course, Choice Band, because we want to do more extra damage if we have to do so. Uh, three Ultra Ball to search out Lele's and other stuff we need to search out. Uh, two Field Blower, two Enhanced Stammer to get rid of Special Energy. One Nest Ball, one Rescue Stretcher to recover Pokemon. And one Pal Pad to, record, to recover, of course, our supporters. And then, of course, as our stadiums, we're playing a two line of Ultra and Moon. Because we can also get rid of Prism Stadiums, which are a thing now, and on top of that, we can also be able to get Free Retreat if we have a Dark Energy on our deck Pokemon, which, of course, we're playing Dark Energy. And we're playing a total of 9 of them. Now, if we do play a second Lele, I might play 8, 
but nine is a good number. I've never had a problem with fighting energy while I have nine. So I'm going to probably keep it that way. If I do take a card out, it's probably going to be choice ban because we don't need that many choice bands in our deck. Um, and it literally would be nice, a second one. Um, but without further ado, that's pretty much it going to be, that's pretty much going to be it for the deck. Uh, please comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon content. Um, tell me down in the comments, um, what would you do more with this deck? Um, what would you add? How would you play it? And, yeah, um, we're also going to be having a Leafeon deck profile update, so you guys stay tuned for that. I also have other decks that I want to try out, like Suicune and all that, so if I do get a chance, I will be playing PCGO live streaming. Hopefully the live stream goes better than the last one where we had interruptions and I had to end it early, not to mention our Wi-Fi went out, so that was kind of a problem, but without further ado, it's going to be Silver Leafeon 9055 logging out. I'll see you guys later. Peace, and I hope you all have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving, guys, You know it's technically the day after Thanksgiving for me. See you guys later. <laughs> Yeah. Return to the Mac. You know what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking the news.